Okay, so... I don't know why video makes me do that sometimes. <laughs> I'm on video. Welcome back. TV land. I'm wearing a baseball cap today because uh, lucky for you, you're not having to sit right next to me. <laughs> I never made it to the shower. <laughs> My hair is all nuts. My wife is like, you should shower. I'm like, I don't have time. I just looked at it. I'm like, oh, shoot, it's three. I got to go. I did the same thing. Yeah, but your hair doesn't show it. <laughs> All right, so here, here are the resources. And this is actually a pretty big presentation. You can see that there are uh, 100 slides in it, right? And so I, I'm really trying to put together the learning resources for you. And I'm trying to do it in a very thorough, well-documented way where I'm like, hey, look at this, look at that, put a little comment. So you, know, you can know what's going on just from the slides. But, uh, but, uh, but I, I wanted to preview this presentation just here. Like, I didn't do this with most, most of it because a lot of this stuff is just a lot of detail. And, uh, and, and this, this really sort of covers, like, hey, what do I need to know to learn Golang? And so the first thing are, hey, here are some really good resources I found. And then one more, which I came across just this morning, which looked pretty promising, but I haven't gone through it, so I added it to the list. And then here, if you want to learn Golang from golang.org, like it was, it was, the language is super well put together, right? And, and I think that that's why I had that one slide at the beginning that Go was created by geniuses, you know? And uh, unless you speak genius, learning Go from the docs can be kind of hard. You know, this slide right here, you know? But even, even like trying to learn Golang from from the Golang official website. They have a bunch of resources up there. It was hard for me to figure out which order do I start attacking these doc different documents in. However, if I was like already just like a black belt coder, you know, and had spent years with working with C, I'd be like, no problem, I could read them in any order, you know. But even reading through some of these was like, there's some jumps in there that you gotta make, and, it's, and, you, you, just, if you, if, and you have to make those jumps like, because you already know things, right? And it was hard for me to make some of those jumps going through those, and so that was a little bit, these are, these are a struggling, more of a struggle way, unless you already have a lot of experience. This stuff right here. I just advanced my slide, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to highlight stuff. This stuff, now I'm just moving it. This stuff right here is more the, you know, but it's also the official source, which is good, because I think I have pins and things down here slides, I don't know, settings, whatever. So uh, anyhow, the order wasn't even clear to me that I'd attack these documents in, but you know, install, we did that Tuesday, and hopefully you did that at home, and this is how they, they describe it at golang.org. Golang.org is the official website, right? And then you have your language spec, so if you're, you're learning a new programming language, there's a spec if it's a good language, and it says here are specifications of the language. And so we'll actually be looking at that a little bit when we get to presentation 10 to look at lexical elements, which is like a really big word. But if you look up lexical, it just basically means like how we put together a language, right? Elements associated with the language is lexical. But how many people have never heard lexical before? Yeah, so for me, I'm like, okay, what's lexical mean? When I first came across that word, got to look that up. Right, but the spec, it gives you all the specifications of the language. And then there's a tour of Golang, which is interactive, and you can type code right into the tour and takes you step through step. And that's the next thing they recommend doing. And then there's golang.org.code. Uh, How, what is code versus effective Go? How to write Go code, that's what that one is. So how to write Go code. And this talks about like the workspaces, and the Go path, and how package paths work, and then your first program, Hello World, and first library. So this is what we'll be doing through those presentations. I just find that to be a little bit, uh, you know, it's much more succinct, but you've got to be able to make those jumps. And, uh, and then, so that's, that's uh, how to write Go code. And then here's how to write effective Go, right? So effective Go is just like a 60-page document that once you've done all that, uh, it really lays out some examples, and it suffers no fools. You know, like, it jumps into some pretty complex code e examples, and, and it uses, like, really, like, oh, okay, there's that really sort of obscure thing, 
being used. Um, and then finally, we have the blog, golang.org, which is actually really great. And so you learn, you learn, I've learned Go, and, and by, and I guess this is the way you learn anything, it's just by trial, experimentation, how's it work, so you don't understand something, you go look it up, you have a little bit of frustration because, God, why isn't this working? You try to find the answer, you come back, you find, ask it, a question of somebody who has a little bit more experience, see if they have the answer, right? But that's one of the things about, since Go is a newer language, is not like, with PHP, man, you could just copy paste code from the internet and put it together and stack overflow so many answers, but Go is still growing. And we saw Tuesday, you know, hey, there's actually a whole lot of companies using Go and jobs out there, but uh, stack overflow, like, you know, sometimes you ask questions and it's like, well, there's an answer from two years ago that kind of relates, but it's not the exact one <laughs> for my situation. And then sometimes, you know, um, I don't know, people haven't written the best Go code. So that, that, uh, that is something that I've experienced a lot. All right, so, uh, so here are resources. Uh, this is a really good book. This is by Caleb Doxey. He's the guy quoted in, in the book. He says, learning Go from the docs can be hard unless you've had a lot of programming experience. And, um, and so that's where that quote, quote came from. He was also our trainer this summer at Summer Web Boot Camp for four weeks, eight hours a day, five days a week. So, you know, 160 hours. Uh, he worked with us, like, you know, helping improve our, our Go laying web skills. And uh, so he wrote the book on it, and then he also offered uh, our boot camp training. And so you could find the videos from the boot camp training at either of these places. You could find the code from the boot camp training right there on GitHub. So there's a lot of great sample code. And you could find the outline for the boot camp training that he covered right here. So you can kind of see, okay, this is what he was trying to teach. And here's the code, and then here are the videos. You know, so you could reference those in any order. You could go in here and say, hey, how do I do something? You could find it. You could figure out, okay, that's somewhere in here. And you could start looking through the, what, you could look at the code, find it in the code, see how I did it. And then you could go and, okay, where was that in the videos? And try to watch the video of him explaining it. Question? Which presentation is this? Is this number nine? Yeah, it's number nine. So it's in those folders. And uh, you can see how the, 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 you click these links, right? Those underlying blue things are links. And they take you to another internet resource. But here's, he, he took all the videos and just listed them out this way, right? And these are the same videos on YouTube, just listed out, you know, in my playlist. 17th day, 16th day, 15th day. So however you want to access them. That is a great, great resource. Another really great resource is Go by Example. And so Go by Example, you know, has code and explains the code. You know, here's the code, here's the explanation, and these are the results. So this is a really great resource when it's like, oh, how does structs work, to work again? I just click on that, and there's an example of structs and a little explanation and showing the results. So Go by Example is a website, and you can see the link in the bottom right there. And, uh, and then Pluralsight, if you want to take a little bit of a bigger training or get somebody else's take on the Golang, uh, Pluralsight has some new trainings. And these are all new this year. They've all sprung up this year. Before that, they weren't, there weren't any trainings on Go. And then here's the, the tour. No, this is the Golang.org website, Golang.org website. So the link in the bottom right. So that's just another resource for learning Go. And there's the tour of Go. And, uh, and this is really helpful, or nice, the Golang weekly newsletter. So uh, just today, they released the stable version of Go 1.5. Uh, and uh, it's the sixth stable release since the Go language was created ten, five years ago, six years ago, whenever it was created, eight years ago, 2007, eight. And, um, and I know that because I got this newsletter today, and they're like, hey, actually, you know, that came from a, a different newsletter, letter, but... Uh, which newsletter is that? So there's a, a newsletter you could sign up for somewhere in golang.org that tells you stuff. But anyhow, here's another good newsletter. And there's, it's golangweekly.com. And then finally, uh, this is that one which looked pretty good that I haven't gone through yet. So those are your resources. Okay. What else do we have here? Getting help, documentation. Let's come back to that. But we got the resources there. So should we load up 1.5 when we... At home? Yeah. Yeah, if you want to. 
like uh, just download it and put that in instead of whatever one you maybe got Wednesday. All right, any, any questions or anything else? You ready to do some more? All right, so uh, we'll do uh, Go IDEs next.